show. I put them on a show. I took a saw along. But when I sing a song, when you see the rhythm, make you wind your bottom. Whoa. When I scream the saw, I can feel the music ripping through me. What you say now? Rip saw music. Show the music. Yes, rip saw music. Make me feel it. It really started from here. Mm -hmm. The rip saw started from here. And then the guys then went down there and they call it, uh, and some other, the behemoths, they call it rake and scrape because they see you raking and scraping. Yeah. Yeah. But we call it rip saw because we rip it like it. Okay. Is, is there a different sign from like from your, from the Turks and Caicos one and the Bahamian one? Is there a different well, sign different, to it? Yeah, different, different styles in, rip, in raking or ripping the saw. Mm -hmm. Is you got this kind here like this. And then you got you see without the bending you see mm -hmm. you got it straight up that's cool man. just the rhythm like that and, and some people like most of us in the Turks and Caicos rip it we, we bend it like mm -hmm. Most of the big bands don't use the saw anymore. Why? Uh, because they uh, think it's uh, too old-fashioned for them. <laughs> really? Yeah, to me it's uh, culture. After I came back from the Bahamas uh, in 76, um, I reintroduced the saw back into the band. My band, you know, I had a band called the Lively Stones. Oh, wow. Yeah. Actually, um, I established this uh, in Canada back in 1978. I was sent to Canada to represent the Turks and Caicos Islands mm -hmm. and uh, were welcoming or inviting the Canadians to the Turks and Caicos Islands. So I was sent off by the first chief minister, the Honorable J.A.G.S. J. McCartney. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's and, amazing, uh, huh? He put a band together for me at that time called, um, what we talk, call that band, the Turks and Caicos Canadian Band, a Connection Band, mm -hmm. Canadian Connection Band. Yeah, and because we only w were together for that occasion. We spent a month up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we toured. We landed in Toronto, and then we performed first in Ottawa, in the capital. And then we toured up to uh, Montreal. Mm -hmm. Spent a few days there. And then we came back to Toronto, and we performed at City Hall. And uh, then we flew west to... Uh, Saskatchewan got a bus from there and uh, drove into Edmonton mm -hmm. and we st spent 15 days there so, so you were the first person to introduce riff saw music in Canada, in Canada. well according to my knowledge yes. yeah actually what they did uh, on one of my shows in Edmonton mm -hmm. they uh, took a picture of me playing the saw because I, I, I was actually the main, like the star of the group, you know, and uh, so I played all the instruments. Mm -hmm. And when I took the saw, I flew off the stage in one of my acts, and uh, someone down there was looking up, and he took my picture, or, or like me flying through the sky. <laughs> with this saw like that, you know? Yeah. And my locks, I had long locks in those years. Mm -hmm. oh, well, they were down on my bottom. Wow. Yeah. And uh, it look, that was a great picture. So mm -hmm. they put it in the Canadian newspaper. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it really was established there. Come on everybody, let's go to the reef. Let's take a boat, ride over the sea. Then we'll take a dive for you to see. A beautiful world under the sea. Oh yes, let's go to the reef. Oh yes, I want you to see it. Let's go to the reef I want you to see the world under the sea Fish with the 
Sieben.